Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for August 26th, 2021. Let's see what we have going on for today. There's a lot here about entitlement and people thinking they're entitled because <laughs> it's a continuation of yesterday's uh, message where people think they're entitled to other people's time or they can make choices that then invade someone else's life and they're supposed to just go along with it. So some of you out there, again, this is codependency or this is not having strong boundaries. Even the people in your life who are forcing you to tell them no numerous times and they just keep trying it, you can also do a protection of your energy. If you've set up your boundaries and people are still not respecting that, they're still pounding at the door, you can always imagine yourself being surrounded by hematite, which is reflective and protective and grounding, and it shoots back at them. Some people will say, I hope it comes back to you times 10, <laughs> right? And next thing you know, these people who have their freedom by taking advantage of others or taking them for granted, yes, uh, trying to butter them up so that they'll do things for them, it's going to come back to them, all right? So just, I feel like some of you really need to hear that because, again, there's this whole brainwashing thing out there of oh you should help people oh you should you should do this this is your sense of worth and guess what star seeds and light workers you and your energy cannot be wasted like that any longer okay no you, you have a bigger mission going on here protection look at that all right so we're going to have some dysfunctional people we're going to have some people who you know Again, they think that everyone was put on this earth to serve them or something. And uh, if you're a light worker, an empath, or uh, and also be aware of the fake empaths, it drives me nuts when someone's like, I'm an empath and they're the most selfish person you've ever seen in your life, okay? I, I don't know that you can be an empath and be quite that self-centered, <laughs> right? I mean, empaths are taking on everybody else's stuff sometimes if they're not balanced. And so that gets overwhelming and, you know, a lot of empaths are always concerned about other people. They're not usually, you know, they don't do enough for themselves is what I'm getting at here. So there is some need of protection. And she's, I love this card there. You're not going to be able to see it, but there's a sword. There's a sword right here. And it's just starting to light up. You're lighting up your truth, honey. Okay, you're lighting up your truth. And this is you standing strong and saying, I don't owe you anything. No, you're not going to make me feel guilty in a work environment, so I have to take on more hours. No, you're not going to guilt me into, once again, covering for you. No, you're not going to be able to just treat me any old way you want. Maybe for some of you, someone's getting downright abusive with you. And then they twist it around and say, well, you have to forgive me. You have to. We love each other. You have to forgive me. Okay, forgiveness would be for you but you don't have to be in their presence. Remember, you're a gift in this world too. And in a lot of situations where things are uneven or we feel like we need to protect our boundaries because people are just not respecting it, they need you more than you need them. A lot of empaths have a grand old time being a little bit of a hermit. <laughs> Why? Again, they soak everything up. And of course, you can get good at balancing that and all of that, but we like our regenerative time. So when someone is constantly pulling on you, stuff that they've brought on themselves, stuff that, you know, if they just take an accountability and responsibility for themselves, they would not be in this circumstance. And now they expect you to save them. Don't be afraid to pull back from them and say, I'm sure you can figure that out. Oh my gosh, I'm panicking. Well, I had it all figured out, but it fell through. Okay. Well, that's happened to me. You know, you, that happens, I guess, but it's something maybe that <laughs> they could still handle on their own, but they're making themselves out to be victims and expecting you to come save them. Does this make sense? Are y'all feeling this? You feel what I'm saying here? We have to be stronger. We have to honor ourselves and our energy. We do not owe anybody anything. We are not to be taken for granted. We are not to be used as a resource. And I would highly caution you against listening because there are some practitioners out there who say that our duty is to provide light in this world. Right, as being an example of light, not creating it for people to come and just feed. Now we're enablers. And now we're causing harm. You hear me? Now we're enablers. Now we're causing harm. Can't be done. No. 
No, 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 guys. We're in an imperative time. We just cannot keep going along with the old way anymore. Okay, so I hope that made sense. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.